This actor left school and worked as a carpenter and woodworker for several years before having an interest in acting. Today, we're revealing some crazy details in this video of the top 10 secret facts about Paul Campbell. It is mind-blowing that this Hallmark star doesn't already come from an already existing acting background. Paul Campbell would have never thought that he would be a part of the world's biggest entertainment channel, Hallmark, and end up being one of the most favored actors. The Hallmark star was born on June 22, 1979. His mom and dad are Karen and Bruce Campbell, and they decided to go with just Paul for his name. No middle name. Fancy that. He grew up in White Rock, BC, Canada, and he is now 43 years young. So Paul went to a public school called Semayamu Secondary in Surrey, Canada. At 18, he started working on carpentry and spent almost four years honing his skills. Later, he went to theater school. And after two years and a lot of coffee, 1479 cups of coffee to be exact, he finally got certified. He also has a two-year diploma from a community college. After that, he joined the acting community and became one of the actors who brings happiness and excitement to people. Talking about education, Paul Campbell actually moved out because he did not like studying in Surrey. He said, Yeah, the clouds just kind of blow over and then they stop. It's when, yeah. the, cloud, when the clouds are very expansive, that's when you get the rain. But same with White Rock. It's called Sunny White Rock because it's anything right on the water seems to be uh, least affected. Speaking about carpentry, now many of you may not know that Campbell actually wanted to be a carpenter. He loved the idea of making and fixing things through carpentry. In an interview with Ruth Hill, he said, Even at five years old, I remember asking for a drill for Christmas. My dad had a drill, my grandfather had a drill, and I wanted a drill. So I got one. Though my entire adolescence and throughout high school, I was planning to build houses. I just loved the idea of building houses, and I honestly didn't consider any other profession. Who knew that this hotshot is good at carpentry as well as being an actor? He continued, When I was 18, after I graduated, I became a carpenter. I got a couple of years into it and I was like, I don't want to do this. This isn't the job that I thought it was. So Paul realized that carpentry wasn't his thing and he wanted to do something he actually enjoyed. Acting. At first, he was just casually interested in movies and acting. But then he started taking acting classes and bam, it was love at first sight. So he applied to theater school. And that was the start of his acting journey. He even shared a story with Ruth Hill about how he got into acting and according to him, it all started like this. A friend of mine was doing some background work on a movie that was shooting in Vancouver. Will Smith was starring in it. My friend called me one day and said, oh man, I'm having so much fun and hanging out with Will Smith and I'm making X amount of dollars. And I was like, you're making $3 more an hour than I am and I'm busting my butt hauling lumber across a construction yard? So my friend encouraged me to come and do some background work. So this 43 year old actor spilled the beans and said that he never really did any of the background work with his friend who offered him. After college, he went back to construction work for a few months, but then something happened that changed his life. Wanna know what it was? He spilled the deets to Ruth Hill. A friend of mine who graduated at the same time phoned me one day and said, I ran into this guy that's a year behind us in the program and he asked whether I was still in touch with you. When my friend said he was, the guy went on to say, I totally forgot, but at the last performance before you graduated, my agent came to the show to see me and really liked Paul and gave me his business card. He told me to tell Paul to call him. After that, Paul called up his agent and recorded something on tape for him. And here's where the lucky part comes in. When it comes to Battlestar Galactica, this guy knows it wouldn't have been successful without everyone involved, from the people who worked on it to the fans who loved it. In an interview with Paul Green, he dished out details on Battlestar Galactica. He said, The reason that I ended up leaving Battlestar Galactica is because I booked a pilot called Nobody's Watching. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a pilot is, uh, they fly an airplane. I mean, let's be real, not everyone is into sci-fi stuff, but the show still managed to build a strong following. And let me tell you, it did great things for him. In 2005, he tried his hand at comedy by starring in a TV pilot called Nobody's Watching for the WB, which unfortunately didn't make it to a full series, but later became popular on YouTube. He also starred in National Lampoon's Bag Boy alongside Dennis Farina in 2007. Paul started off in Hallmark with Winter Wonderland in 2013. It was followed by Surprised by Love in 2014 and Once Upon a Holiday in 2015. He said, that was a good run, three for three. Once I got a sense of what Hallmark was all about, I was hooked. I wanted to do more and more and more. And that is exactly what he did. In an interview with iHollywood TV, the star chatted with the host about the Hallmark channel. He said, uh, What Hallmark has done that's so great is they're one of the few, they feel almost like an old Hollywood studio, you know, where they sort of, They've built a family 
within their network of actors that they use repeatedly. He became one of the mainstream actors of Hallmark, starring in movies such as Christmas by Starlight, which he also wrote, Wedding Every Weekend, The Last Bridesmaid, Surprised by Love and Son, Sand and Romance. For Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, Paul has starred in Hearts of Christmas and A Godwin Christmas. Most recently for Hallmark, Campbell starred in Dating the Delaney's and The Santa Stakeout. The Hallmark actor had been suggesting movie ideas to Hallmark since 2015, but it wasn't until 2017 when one of his written movies was aired on the channel. He starred in The Santa Stakeout with Tamara Mowry Housley in 2021, and he also wrote An Unexpected Christmas and Christmas at Castle Heart the latter being the highest rated Hallmark movie of the year. In an interview with E! News, Campbell admitted to taking some creative liberties as an actor in Hallmark movies, while still delivering the expected feel-good fun, but he also managed to add some humor and realism to these movies. He even posted on his Instagram while promoting it. Campbell was brought in to rewrite Christmas at Castle Heart at the request of Chabert, who wanted her character to be funnier. Instead of a prosperous event planner, he turned her into a waitress who was struggling to make ends meet. He also included a subplot about discovering her Irish family, which turned out to be one of the most heartwarming parts of the movie. So I think Hallmark now knows who to turn to for some of the best plots. Paul has been seen in a ton of these feel-good flicks like Surprised by Love and A Godwin Christmas. But did you know that he's actually married to the same woman twice? That's right, Paul eloped with Lori Metz back in 09 when he was 30 years old. They kept it pretty low-key at the time, but two years later they had a big wedding in Palm Springs with all their loved ones in attendance. Flash forward to 2019, and Paul shared the cutest photo on Instagram of him and Lori on the day that they tied the knot again. It's like a real life rom-com, don't you think? While we might not know as much about Lori as we know about Paul, it's clear to see that these two are meant to be together. He captioned it, seeing as how the premiere of The Last Bridesmaid, June 22nd on the Hallmark Channel, and my 10th marriage anniversary, June 25th, are both fast approaching, it seemed only fitting to share some wedding pics of my own. This pic from our first wedding in 2009, we eloped in Vancouver, then had a proper wedding in Palm Spring years later. Glad to see that the couple is living their fairy tale love life. The couple welcomed their son, Kingston, in April 2016, and Paul seems to be doing everything he can to make it fun for his child. He said, I yeah. bought like the entire uh, Ghostbusters Playmobil set for my son with like Ecto 1, the car, we got the fire station, we got all the characters. I, he, I watched it with him, he's five, and he loved it. We're super excited about the new Ghostbusters coming right, out. Yeah. Speaking of love, Paul mentioned that he handles the trolls online because he believes whatever he is making and doing, in the end, love always wins, and it gives him the strength to deal with it. In an interview with iHollywood TV, he said, You know, I just stood my ground and I used humor, and I didn't take any BS, and, I, and there were incredible conversations, and what, I, what was so heartening was that the overwhelming majority of responses were of love and support for what we were doing. So he's got the looks, he's got the charm, and he's got the woman of his dreams too. But does he have the money? Of course he does. Paul Campbell has starred in loads of movies and TV shows, which has made him a ton of money. He also gets paid for promoting products and brands. Overall, his net worth is a whopping $5 million, and he earns around $606,000 every year. Paul still has a long way to go, but we cannot take away the fact that he is every bit worthy of whatever he has today, just like our channel is worth every minute of your time. So if you made it this far, we believe you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching. Until next time.